Overrated. Steele wants the floor. Takes it all the way. What an offensive show this is. It's true that Shaquille O'Neal, Reggie Miller, and Sean Kemp have been the stars of this Dream Team sequel, but the collective focus has been on a single goal. We're looking forward to capturing the gold medal and putting it back in our hands for years to come. Today, that goal is within reach as the United States faces Russia in the finals of the World Championship of Basketball. Toronto, the home of the Toronto Blue Jays when there is a baseball the season. Two, and today, the, the site of the World the Championship injury, of Basketball the gold medal game. This the scene earlier today, the United States squad arriving for this eighth and final game of the 11-day tournament. For the U.S., it has been Joe seven Dumar. straight wins following a shaky start with only a 15-point victory over Spain. Dream Team 2 Place. came up with blowout victories over China, Brazil, Australia, and Puerto Rico. Rico, front line of the quarterfinals. They did not have an easy time with Russia, up by only eight at halftime, but they went out to win by 17. And last night, they won up Greece, leading to today's championship game. Hi, everybody. Marv Allen, along with Matt Gukas and Matt, as expected, the United States is here to play for the goal. Most basketball people felt that it would be Croatia going against the United States, Croatia, led by the likes of Tony Kukoc and Peter Rajda, were upset last night by Russia. So it will be Russia Number against 11, the U.S., Kevin and we talked about Johnson. that with head coach Don Elson. I think we're a little disappointed that we didn't get a chance to play Croatia. Uh, I think the guys were looking forward to that. I certainly was. We, we had all our work done on them, all our you know, scouting stuff done, our preparation work. But uh, that's the way it is, and now we're going to play Russia again, which means that they're probably the better team. Uh, I don't think we lack motivation at all, or it'll be more motivation because it's Russia. I think the gold medal is motivation enough. Johnson. Well, Don Nelson has been consistent in concerning himself with just his and own Johnson team. But now USA Dream Team 2 Don has Nelson. entertained most of the people, and they have antagonized the some as well. Don but on a positive note, the two the players Jordan. that have gained the most from this experience have been Shaquille O'Neal and Reggie Miller. And look at Shaq's numbers, a point a minute and a gaudy 76% from the field. And nobody here has an answer for his overpowering play. And Reggie Miller, the premier shooting guard in the NBA, has made a mockery of the shorter three-point line. But all of these USA players have made the effort to work as hard as possible to come together as a team and win this gold medal, and that was the goal coming in. And today they are going up against Russia. Russia came up with the biggest upset of the tournament last night by the count of 66-64 over Croatia, followed by this emotional celebration. And this is a Russian team, Matt, that had a very impressive first half against the United States. States when they met here on Friday night. Well, Russia was effective against the USA because they do a good job of maximizing their strengths. And their most potent weapon is their point guard, number nine, Sergei Vazarezin. Getting into the lane, creating havoc, this guy can give you fits, especially when you can't put your hands on him to slow him down. And Kevin Johnson says that he is an NBA prospect. Now, the Russian team here has overachieved by getting to this final game, but their impossible dream is about to come to an end. Marv, they just do not have the manpower to contend with the USA. All right, right here, let's go to a man who has been embraced by the entire international basketball community, although I must say they're not exactly sure what he does. The dean of sideline reporting, here's Ahmad Rashad. All right, thanks, Marv. While everybody is taking this game for granted, like the USA team is going to walk right through Russia, the team itself is not feeling that way at all. Don Nelson sequestered the team into a room this morning for 45 minutes of watching a film to get them prepared for today's game. I talked to Dominique Wilkins as he came out of the room, and he told me that, you know, we are not going to leave any stone unturned. Our goal was to come here and win a gold medal, and I have all my bags packed, but I've saved a little bit of room for that one little extra piece of luggage that I need to take back with me, and that is the gold medal, and I think I'll pack that in just a couple of hours. Marv? 
All right, about. And there is Sergei Belov, head coach of the Russian team, a member of the Soviet Union squad that beat the U.S. in that disputed gold medal win of the 1972 Olympics in Munich. Now they meet again in a different set of circumstances. The World Championship of Basketball is brought to you by IBM. There's never been a better time to do business with IBM. By Post Honey Bunches of Oats, so delicious, one taste is all it takes. By FedEx, for documents, packages, and freight worldwide, our most important package is yours. And by McDonald's, what you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Supersize your McDonald's extra value meal with a supersize order of our golden fries plus a large Coke for just 39 cents more. Hey! What? The Coke! It's huge! They said to make it huge! What you want is what you get. Supersize for 39 cents more. At McDonald's today. One minute I'm telling myself to buy the best stuff. Next minute to save money. Buy the best, save money. Buy the best, save money. Save money. Buy the best, save money. Save money. Save money. I'm beginning to get on my nerves. Why compromise when there's the affordable Value Point Performance Series from IBM? This guy on the plane, he had this button in the middle of his keyboard. This red button. It's like a mouse, but you just touch it. I want one. I want a button. Introducing the affordable ThinkPad 360 with TrackPoint 2 from IBM. Derek Coleman. I have this dream. Everybody had on the new BK Domicile. And that made them all as good as me. BK's made them tougher, lighter, meaner. They're all as good as you, Derek. Then it hit me. I'm the only pro in diamond cells. What do I gotta be afraid of? Just one taste of Honey Bunches of Oats cereal and you'll love it instantly. Honey Bunches of Oats? You're not gonna convince me. I'm convinced, like I was saying, this is special. Starting with those toasty flakes of corn and wheat. What makes you think this is the one? This is the one. This is great. Combined with those honey-kissed oat clusters in every mouth-watering bite. If you really want me to try it, I'll try it, but no promises, okay? Whoa. Post honey bunches of oats. One taste is all it takes. Whoa. Today's starting lineups brought to you by Post. Proud supporter of USA Basketball. And Don Nelson is going with the lineup that he started against Russia on Friday night. Kevin Johnson, Joe Dumars, and Reggie Miller in the three-guard alignment. Derek Coleman, who had a good one against the Russians in the starting lineup with Sean Kent. Coleman with 15.6 rebounds in 25 minutes of play. And there is the head coach, a member of five NBA championship teams in his 11 years as a member of the Boston Celtics. Uh, Matt earlier talked about Sergei Batsarevich, a very well-regarded backcourt man. He's the star of this team. And Karatsov also very impressive in the backcourt. The center, Mikhailov, did a nice job last night against uh, Dino Rajna. And Sergei Belov. Last game between these two teams, it was very close at halftime. Keep that in mind. It was not a jog for the Americans by any stretch. While the Americans remain the strong, overwhelming favorites, anything can happen, so that's why we play these games. Coleman on the wing. Miller posts up and then moves out. A skip pass. Richard Miller has been deadly from three-point range. He passes it up. Coleman instead takes the three and hits the first shot of the game for the Americans. Derek Coleman shows you why he is regarded as one of the best power forwards in the world. He's strong inside and has a soft touch outside. Bazarevich. And the Americans, interestingly enough, put their best defender on Bazarevich, Joe Dumars. And he shows you why he was voted on the all-NBA defensive team. Joe Dumars with the steal. Coleman inside, hacked in the act and won. Joe Dumar starting that play at one end, and it ends up in a Derek Coleman three-point play opportunity. Coleman hit and follows in. Kasurin, Evgeny Kasurin committing the first foul for Russia. And the 
United States quickly out to a six to nothing lead and Derek Coleman has scored all of the points so far in the ballgame. Coleman a member of the New Jersey Nets recently signing a very lucrative 35 million dollar contract over six years. Kemp with the rebound on the miss. Here's Dumars. Pulls up for three. I think these guys mean business today, folks. I think they mean business. Unlike their previous seven games, the United States off to a very quick offensive start. Defensively, they have turned up the pressure meter as well. Coleman defending. Miss and then converted by Mikhail Mikhailov. Tough task for Belov to keep his team in this game, not to be intimidated, but Kevin Johnson, Kevin Johnson strolls right down Main Street on the dribble and scores the layup. It's 11 to 2. Kevin Johnson, a member of the Phoenix Suns, a threat to go with 20 points and 10 assists on any given night. A nice follow through that time by Evgeny Kasurin. A six foot nine inch, 25 year old, 235 pound forward. He's been with the team since 1993. Here's Miller, little high pick and roll action. Coleman, a lot of contact, didn't bother him though. The bank is open, even on Sunday. Derek Coleman off to a very quick start. He has eight. Russia back the other way. Here's Gasurin from deep. Came up a little short, gets his own rebound, takes it to the hoop strong. He misses, but a nice foul. Follow that time by Carasa. Quickly down court to Kemp, who's fouled. He's quite appreciative of that foul. Team foul of the period. Sean Kemp brought down roughly. And here's another look at what happened. Kemp was getting ready to bring down the hammer on that play, and he was fouled hard by Mikhail Mikhailov. But Derek Coleman has been the star so far. He has had a somewhat tumultuous career in New Jersey, recently having a few scrapes with the law, but he was cleared of all charges. And more than anything else, Derek Coleman is very talented and somewhat very misunderstood as well. Basarevich is dangerous in the open court, and that's exactly what I mean. He is fearless taking the ball to the steal. And Basarevich gets his first field goal. And the lead is 15 to the 8. Kemp inside, elevating and laying it in softly with the left hand. Sean Kemp, one of the rare players in the world to go straight from high school to the NBA. He is from Elkhart, Indiana. He had a cup of coffee at the University of Kentucky and went straight to the pros. A nice pick and roll play, and Kisurin finishes it off. That was well executed by the Russians. The Russians in a man-to-man -man defense. Miller for three. He has been deadly, and he still is. It is Reggie time. He finally gets on the board. He knew it wouldn't take long. That's his first three, and the Americans lead by a score of 20 to 10. Foul outside on Kevin Johnson. The Americans still adjusting to this international style of play and officiating, but here's Vazarevich driving in on the taller Miller and laying it over his outstretched arm. And Russia throws it away. A little bit of lack of communication there. This is unquestionably the most impressive first five minutes that the United States has played in the tournament. Inside to Kemp from Coleman. And Kemp takes the elevator to the top floor and only he got off. It's 22 to 10. Kasuri. Nice ball fake that time. Rajev couldn't get it to fall. Dumars for three. Bingo! Joe D on the J-O-B, and he gets the job done. Less than 15 minutes to play. And the Americans lead by 15 points. 
Beloff has already called one timeout. But that has yet to stop the bleeding. Elbow jump shot, got it to fall. Mikhail Mikhailov, a six foot seven inch forward. You know, the European players, the big men especially, very good at stepping out. Dumars, that'll go to Dumars. Kemp's hand was there, but it fell first. And it's 27 to 12. Joe Dumars, perfect, three for three from the field, two for two from the line, and he has eight points. USA foul. All five the of the American starters the have scored. Four, Look at the tenacity first of Derek ball. Coleman on the boards. Number six, Dimitri Get the outlet Dimitri pass, put it in the middle where the ball should be. And Joe Dumars says, I think I'll take it myself. But the Americans have very good spacing on the floor. Coleman, good hustle, and the steal. Derek Coleman has shown a lot of spirit. Dumars looking for another three, had it partially blocked. Nice defensive play by Russia. Bazarevich. Oh, a nice bit of ball handling, but he forgot to finish the layup. Coleman. Oh, baby! Derek Coleman doesn't fake the funk on that dunk. Oh! You talk about agility in a big man. Here's how the play started. Bazarevich went behind the back on the dribble but forgot to make the layup. And Coleman with a nice crossover. That's a six foot ten inch man, folks. Following the good basket, number six. Another look at that marvelous play by Derek Coleman. He dumped it with the offhand. He's a left-handed player. And he threw it down with the right. Coleman has not missed from the field. And hasn't missed from the foul line either, Derek Coleman. Fedosov is just 22, he's not playing. Gennady is just 19. They've got some young talent on this Russian team. Miller, though, shows you some of his three-point shooting talent. Ring the bell, because school is in. Reggie Miller hits his third three-pointer. Babcock in the game now. He misses his first jump shot. Interestingly enough, Babcock did not start for the Russians. Kemp inside, slam it home. Nobody does the voodoo like you do, Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp. In America, they call it hops. In America, they call it ups. What it simply means, folks, is that he can jump. Here's Damani. Nice pull-up jump shot off the dribble. Missed the jump shot. And a quick outboard outlet. And Coleman with the tomahawk. Derek Coleman came to play today. Steve Smith and Dominique Wilkins watching on. Azarevich. The Russians playing with a three-guard offense, three out and two in. Try to spread the floor and let Bazarevich operate down the middle. They throw it away, though. Here's Sean Kemp. Who wants to shoot it, they say. Kemp wheeling inside, up strong, and Sean Kemp is just too much inside for the Russians so far. Kemp is four for four from the field, two for two from the line with a total of 10 points. The Americans lead 42 to 16. Michaela gets hijacked at the rim, but a foul is called against Derek Coleman. USA foul, six. Mikhail Michaela made a nice strong move Number to the basket. Coleman, and here's a look at what happened. A foul against Derek Coleman, but you know what? That's a good move by Michaela because if you're going to take the ball to the basket against the Americans, you can't come underhand with layup. You have got to come over the top with a dunk attempt or else it'll get hijacked. Michaela missing the foul shot. The Russians trailing 42 to 16, shooting just 30.4% from the field and 20% from the line. Mark Price, bingo! Price and Booker. Everybody getting into the act. It's 45 
to 18. Well, the Americans seem to be answering the questions of all those doubting Thomases out there. The people that said they weren't as good as Dream Team 1. They might not be, but they're trying to prove those people wrong now. And right now they are. A 30-second shot clock violation. Russia just a little bit discombobulated on offense. Still looking for some flow. Joe Dumars has the flow, but he misses that one. Kemp with the rebound. Inside to Shaq. Shaq blocked. A nice block by Vitaly Nasov turning the tables on the big man. So Shaq tasting a little bit of his own medicine. Bazarevich and Kemp coming up with another block. He says, I can do one better. It's a Shaq attack. And the bank is open for Damani, who answers with a shot of his own. It's 47 to 20. O'Neal, uncontested. Shaquille O'Neal. O'Neal, nice pass inside to Kemp, who slams it in the face of Nassau. A very astute pass and wise pass by Shaquille O'Neal that time. 52 to 23 with six minutes to play here in the first half. Pull up jump shot by Mikhailov. Rebound O'Neal. Here's Sean Kent. Inside to O'Neal. O'Neal blocked. O'Neal surprised from the weak side by Mikhail Mikhailov. There's a look at that nice pass inside by O'Neal, and Kemp finishing in a big way over the top. Here's Nasov. Damani has his shot partially blocked. It was a nice cut without the ball, but he had it jacked. Wilkins fouled, and he'll get two. Dominic Wilkins, a present member of the Boston Celtics. He spent his entire career with the Atlanta Hawks and was traded in February to the Los Angeles Clippers where he finished the out the rest of the season. But Dominic still feels the wounds and the hurt of being traded from Atlanta to Los Angeles. He was an unrestricted free agent, was up on the bidding block, and the Boston Celtics recently signed him to a three-year contract which starts at $2.8 million the first season. So the human highlight film, looking to add a few clips to the reel right now. Here's Price, good ball fake, steps back for three straight butter. Mark Price of the Cleveland Cavaliers, the three-point shootout champion last year, connects with another three-point shot. And it's 57 to 23. Damani stops and pops. Rebound O'Neal. Well, in their last game against Greece, O'Neal! Shaquille O'Neal with the dunk that he calls his ninja slam. I hope they have another backboard in the house. They might need one tonight. Shaquille with a block. And a look of contempt for Babcock. Coming from the weak side, reminiscent of a volleyball spike. Shaquille O'Neal. Something to contend with. And a nice three-point shot there by Domani. Harley looking for a screen. Decides to take it himself. The bank is closed. There's Domani. Domani, a member of St. Joseph's University. And their basketball team inside to Nassau. 
Russians move it around nicely, and Damani hits the three-point shot. You really have to like that youngster's talent. Price stops on the dime and pulls up. Stops on a dime and leaves no change at all. Mark Price in the scoring column in a big way. Wilkins picks it off. Thunder Dan with the finish. Back the other way, the Russians. Bingo, Babcock, he's got a smooth looking stroke. And here's Mark Price, drawing the defense. A little miscommunication there by him and Dan Marley. Oh, man! Damani with a little face job on Dan Marley. Dimitri Damani came strong. So the Americans aren't the only guys that can dunk. Excuse me, Shaquille O'Neal. This game turning into a dunk fest. Ooh, high off the glass. Number eight, Evgeny Pashudin. Look, Shaquille O'Neal dead in the eye and laid it up over his outstretched arm. There's Wilkins looking for the three. Dominic Wilkins telling me he loves this shorter three-point line in international ball. Marley to Price. Price with the clear out, a nice crossover. Johnson to O'Neal. With a little honey dip skip. Shaquille O'Neal. Nassoff. Might have been fouled by O'Neal, got pushed, but no foul called. And Dan Marley is whistled for the travel. But here's Shaquille O'Neal on the dunk. And here O'Neal with a little double pump, jackknife. Big man showing a bit of agility on that play. 14 seconds to go, the Russians will hold the ball and take one. Play for a last shot, 73 to 38. And for those people that thought the Russians actually might give them a game, I guess they were wrong. Babkov stops and pops and drops. Nice shot by Babkov. But the Russians still trail 73 to 40 at halftime. United States leading Russia 73 to 40. USA controls the tip. Starting for the USA, Dumars, Kemp, Johnson, Morning, and Reggie Miller. Those are the five on the floor. There's three up in the air, and it's good. Joe Dumars hits for three. He is now three of five from beyond the arc for a total of 11 points, 76 to 40. Don Nelson and crew pick up right where they left off in the first half. Azarevich, so quick to the basket. And that's why people say that he has the talent to be in the NBA. Sean Kemp is in the NBA, and he's in the house. Sean Kemp with a thumb under his tongue. 78 to 42. Babcock, nice turnaround jump shot. Babkov had six points in the first half. He now has eight. Kemp shot taken off the rim. You can do that in international basketball. The NBA players aren't used to seeing that. Ball at the top of the key. That's Mikhailov. I want to remind you that the Russians are playing without Andrei Fedosov, one of their best players. A draftee of the Boston Celtics. Fedosov sprained his ankle in the game yesterday against Croatia. Rebound to the United States off the miss. Miller quickly up court to Dumars. Thought about the three, goes inside to Kemp. Morning down the pipe. Alonzo Morning 
with the slam dunk, and he's on the scoreboard. It is 80 to 44. Babcock can make that. He misses. There seems to be no end to the fast breaking by the United States. Joe Dumars is taking all of his tricks out of the bag and showing you the total package today. Dumars now five for seven from the field, three for five on three pointers, a total of 13 points. Babkoff has stripped down the lane and protests for the foul, doesn't get it. And Alonzo Mourning throws it over Reggie Miller's head. The Americans getting out of the gate fast in the second okay. half here. There's the dunk by Sean Kemp. And the post back at basket celebration. And here's Mourning. The Americans always finishing above the rim. Damani off the screen. Babkoff to Damani. Nice pass by Damani. And a good bucket by Mikhail Mikhailov. But Dimitri Damani showed good court vision that time, coming off the screen on the pick and roll. And he was largely responsible for the assist and the basket. Morning. Oh, baby, that's in the face. Alonzo Morning with his second field goal. He now has four points. A member of the Charlotte Hornets. Morning with a rejection, but it's called a goal 10. And he has a bit of a smile for the official. Look at that screen. That's what made the play. You see, folks, on pick and rolls, when setting the pick, you have got to set a strong pick. And the dribbler must rub his man shoulder to shoulder. Coaches around the world, the United States, Croatia, wherever, they will tell you a good pick is set only when the dribbler runs off the picking man shoulder to shoulder. It's fundamental basketball. Here's Morning outside. He has got it working. It's so time. Alonzo steps out and hits the three. It's 87 of 48. Alonzo Morning, a man that does a lot of work for charity in and around the Charlotte area and across the country. Babkoff working for a shot, but you see Joe Dumars. He's all over Babkoff like white on rice. There's Damani. Rebound to Larry Johnson. Miller for three. A rare miss by Miller. Will he miss two in a row? I don't think so. Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller from Los Angeles, California. He played his college ball at the University of California at Los Angeles, otherwise known as uh, UCLA. He went down in history, school history, as one of their leading scorers. Bazarevich missing. And Larry Johnson with a rebound. Morning steps out, looking for another one, hits nothing but air. Bazarevich. Nice basket by Sergei Bazarevich. Morning posting up, and he was a little too eager in fighting and battling for position. The foul is whistled against him. Although Don Nelson doesn't seem too concerned. Joe Dumars out, Steve Smith in. Azarevich, covered by Price. Karasev on Wilkins, a little too quick for Dominique outside, so you would think. Here's Karasev again, a wide open look at the three, and he gets none. Vasily Karasev, a <laughs> wide open look, couldn't convert. Dominique Wilkins had an isolation on the wing, but passed it up. Morning. That's a big time hook shot. 14, Alonzo, off a wide open, but Babkoff says, I'll take it myself, thank you very much. And Babkoff knocks down the three-pointer. He's now two of five from three-point range, and he has a total of 13 points in the game. 
Morning with a little shake, steps back. Didn't quite get it to fall. Oh boy, look at Vazarevich. He loves to push the ball up court, doesn't he? A nice thought, but Ivanov could not finish. Steve Smith takes his first shot. Wilkins inside. A little too much spin off the glass. Doesn't look like Sergei Belov is too worried. It is 97 to 61. The Americans leading by 36 points with 11.34 to play. In the USA, number 12, Dominique Wilkins. Dominique Wilkins at the line to take two. And he makes the first. Dominique Wilkins, interestingly enough, was born in Sorbonne, France. His full name is Jacques Dominique Wilkins. His father was a serviceman. And he moved to America when he was young. And he is about to make Boston his home. A lob inside intended for Nassau from Bazarevich. And the pass goes awry. The ball comes back to the United States. Larry Johnson working inside. Out to Wilkins for a three. And Dominique knocks it down. Wilkins. Good defense by Johnson. Nassau with the ball. Thinking about going to work on Shaq. Good passing by the Russians. Babkov, baseline, boom. Sergey Babkov makes it 102 to 63. The Americans leading by 39 points with about nine and a half minutes to play. Wilkins, turnaround jumper, splash. Wilkins very effective here in the second half with 11 points. Foul on the play on Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson, a member of the NCAA champion UNLV running Rebels back in 1992. Check that, 1991. Johnson. Last year, signing a very lucrative 12-year, $84 million contract with the Charlotte Hornets. A contract, no doubt, that will put a lot of bread on his table. And maybe a bit of butter and jam, too. Matili Nassov at the line. Makes two. So it's his foul shooting. Nassov's foul shooting has improved throughout the course of the game. It's 104 to 65. O'Neal for three. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not used to seeing him take three point shots. Price has it knocked away. Wilkins will take a three pointer. This is where Shaq belongs. And that's what he does best. O'Neal couldn't get the three, so he'll settle for the two. Here's a look at the block first on Price, and then Shaquille O'Neal battling not one, not two, but three players surrounding him. And when you're seven foot one, 300 pounds, you can do those types of things, folks. It's not that easy. <laughs> not for the normal person. O'Neal missing the foul shot. United States with possession. Larry Johnson for three, and he hits it. So the American big men seem to be trying to prove a point to the rest of the world now that they're not only dominant inside, but they can step out and shoot the three-point shot as well. Nice pass. Jumper off the mark by Karasev. Rebound Larry Johnson. Price stops and pops. Wilkins driving. 
missing. Johnson rebound. The Americans getting four opportunities. And when you, when you get four kicks at the can, you're bound to connect once. Wilkins now with 11 points. Nossoff wide open. He has very awkward looking form from the outside. The basketball, when he shoots it, has side spin on it. It shouldn't be that way. It should look like Steve Smith just shot it. He should have that end over end rotation. 114 to 65. Ivanov off the mark. Shaquille O'Neal tried to spin and got stripped. That's not his game. Damani with the dunk. Damani with 11 points. Pazarevich will be credited with that basket. Timeout on the court. And we have a timeout on the floor as we take another look at Dimitri Damani and his ability to get up in the air. The United States, in all likelihood, will end this tournament with a record of 8-0. Their closest margin of victory so far was 15 points, and ironically, it was in their first game against Spain. Now, Don Nelson, the head coach, said it was the best thing that could have ever happened to them because they received their wake-up call very early in the tournament. Shaquille O'Neal misses his second three-point attempt. The Shaq seems to be on a bit of a mission to make at least one. Kazarevich being guarded by Steve Smith. Babkov on the dribble, and he's fouled by Dan Marley. USA foul, the fifth team foul of the period. First personal, number nine, Dan Marley. Babkov working the pick and roll. Nice pass and a bucket by Mikhail Mikhailov. That was a good offensive possession for the Russians. Dominique, nice pass inside to Larry Johnson, who misses. Pazarevich. Pazarevich has two speeds. I've said it again and again, fast and faster. And Mikhail Mikhailov again. He scored their last four points. Shaq missing. Pazarevich tries the scoop shot and he's fouled. USA foul, a 16 foul. The strength of Pazarevich's game is his ability Take the ball to the basket. Russian, number nine, Sergei Pazarevich. Not only to his left, but to his right. And Bazarevich hits the foul shot. His first of the game. He now has a total of 13 points. Damani also has 13. Babkov has 15. And Mikhail Mikhailov also has 15 for the Soviets. Here's Steve Smith. Steve Smith has received the fewest amount of minutes among the Americans. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. To quote the lyrics from his rap song, super califragilistic Shaq is aladocious. He sang it, folks. I did 116 to 75 with 515 to play in the game. Here's Babkoff on the wing. Settles for the three-pointer. Rebound O'Neal. Neek for three. O'Neal with the rebound, loses it. 
The Americans have far out rebounded the Russians. Nice pass by Steve Smith. Russia foul for the fifth team foul. Number 11, Mikhail Behalov has committed his fourth personal foul. You know what? When Shaquille O'Neal gets the ball that close to the basket, to say a couple of Hail Marys and pray if you're a defender. That's exactly what I'm talking about. O'Neal. O'Neal with 18 points in the ball game. And if you pick the most valuable player for this American squad, I think you'd have to look at O'Neal and maybe Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller may be the most consistent outside shooter in the tournament. O'Neal certainly the most dominant inside force. Here's Babkoff on the drive. It's interesting to note in one of the Toronto newspapers here, a columnist, a former player with the Canadian national team by the name of Anton Sims, had actually written that the Russians could win this game today. I'm not sure which American team he's been watching during the last seven outings. Shaquille O'Neal travels. Shaquille O'Neal with the dunk. The problem is, you're only allowed one pivot foot in basketball. And that's his ninja special, he calls it. With a score 118 to 75, just under four minutes to play, the Americans well in command. Marley from somewhere in Hamilton that was so far out. And Price shows him how to get it done. Mark Price with yet another three-pointer. A foul, Babkoff brought down. Foul is on Dan Marley. Mark Price is four of six from beyond the three-point line. He has 12 points. Dominique Wilkins has 13. Those are the only two American players on the floor in double figure scoring. But they have tremendous balance. And in any language, this performance translates into a very impressive one for the Americans. But let's not overlook what the Russians did in this tournament. They came off of a fourth place finish in the Goodwill Games and rebounded here and played a tremendous game against the Croatians in the semifinals yesterday. They won their semifinal matchup and got themselves to the finals. And that in itself is a major accomplishment. So that should not be overlooked. Three-point shot by Wilkins makes it 124 to 80. The Americans leading by 44 points. Give and go basketball. Good, solid, fundamental basketball. Bazarevich finishes it with the layup. Marley for three. So even, even when the Russians score a good basket and score two, the Americans come back and increase the margin by hitting the three. And Babkoff responds with a three of his own. Babkoff now has 17 points. Larry Johnson, everybody Larry Johnson joining in in this three-point three orgy. It is 130 to 85. Less than two minutes to play. A nice pull-up jump shot by Mikhail Mikhailov. Mikhailov has had a nice afternoon. He scored 17 points. Steve Smith for three. Tommy Wilkins again. A little bit of showtime now for the Americans. Wilkins with 18 points. The United States 
scored a record 134 points in the game earlier in this tournament. And they could very well break that mark here. Vazarevich mismatched on Larry Johnson. Babkoff, yes, the bank is open. Banks at home. The next basket will tie their largest total. And a three-pointer on its way, it's off. Vazarevich misses. And we are in the dying seconds of the gold medal game. The Americans leading it 132 to 89. It has been a picture of dominance. And that three-pointer sets a new record for most points scored in the game by the United States. 135. And the gold medal goes to the United States of America. And Shaquille O'Neal and his troops win the final score, 135 to 91. They take home the gold. So the United States reclaims the gold medal that they lost in 1990. It was an inspiring performance by not only Dan Marley, but the rest of the team. Derek Coleman came out early and set the tone. All this witnessed by a FIBA record 32,660 people in attendance. The total for the tournament was 332, 354. That also a FIBA record. So, all in all, this tournament a major success for international basketball. And we can only hope for bigger and better things in the future as a site remains to be selected for the next World Championships of Basketball. And in all likelihood, it could go somewhere in Europe. Italy, Greece, France has been mentioned, along with a host of other countries. But when you think about this version of Dream Team, Dream Team 2, I think immediately people will think back to Shaquille O'Neal. Images of the Shaq dominating the inside. They will also think of that man right there, Reggie Miller, and his deadly marksmanship from outside. He put on many a three-point shooting clinic for these basketball fans. Yes, there is no question who number one is. Stars and strikes reign supreme once again in international basketball. The faces and the names may have changed, but the result is the same when you put NBA players on the floor. The obvious comparisons between Dream Team 1 and Dream Team 2 will be made. The debate will continue forever. And there may not be a definite answer as to who the better team is, but the bottom line is that the gold medal was won in convincing fashion here today by Dream Team 2. There were questions about this team as to how good they were because of various slow starts. People wondered, are they dominant? Are they beatable? Well, today, with the money on the table, with the green on the wood, the game was good, and the result was good for the United States. Croatia will take home the bronze medal. Croatia losing to Russia in the semifinals. And here's a look at the players. They were tabbed almost anointed automatically as the silver medalists. But instead, Russia will take home the silver. But for this tiny country that has gone through so much political strife and so much human hardship over the last two years, and then some, this has to be a comforting and rewarding experience. And here are the triumphant Americans. Kemp, Smith, Miller, O'Neill, Dumars, Nelson, Marley, Wilkins, Johnson, Mourning, an entire cast of NBA stars, and the silver medalists, the Russians. They achieved their goal. Their goal was to make it to the gold medal game against the, the Americans, and they did that. And Sergei Bazarevich, the leader of the group for the Russians. 
the head coach, Sergey Bella. To the victors go the spoils. For some of the American players, like Dominique Wilkins, this is a crowning moment in their career. Because other than Joe Dumars, no other American player has won an NBA championship or been a member of an NBA championship team. But this will act as a rewarding moment for all of those other players. For a player like Dominique Wilkins, this has to be a very special moment. Dominique Wilkins has been in the NBA for over 10 years and has never, ever won an NBA title. He said that he was looking forward to this moment because this would be something very special for him. And now the gold medalist from the United States of America. Affectionately known as Dream Team 2. Basketball may have changed forever when FIBA decided to allow NBA players to enter international basketball competition. The basketball landscape may never be the same, folks. But when you think of the good of the game, when you think about the best being able to play, when you think about the most skilled players in the world being able to play against each other from whatever country, this has got to be seen as a very wise, very noble, very knowledgeable decision. Larry Johnson <laughs> adds that gold medal to his gold tooth. And Dan Marley of the Phoenix Suns, a three-point bomber. Thunder Dan with a little bit of gold. And his teammate, Kevin Johnson, the adoring eyes of American basketball fans focused on Dream Team 2. Look at Shaquille O'Neal, just 22 years old, and Alonzo Mourning kissing his goal. No doubt these medals will have a special place on the mantelpiece in the homes of many of these players. You can bet that this experience will show up in Shaquille O'Neal's rap song somewhere. He's cutting a new album. He's got four cuts to go. And this moment might well be reflected in one of his songs. The gold medalists and the world champions of 1994.